package of hamburger at a big box supermarket and the label might read something like this, product of Canada, USA, and Mexico. Not so at Marksbury Farms, a country market and butcher shop in Garrett County that sells meats from animals raised right there in the bluegrass region. I've been hearing about this place for a while now. Yes. When did you open? We opened about two years ago. Uh, the, our meat processing facility opened about two years ago and then about six months later we opened our retail shop up in the public just to give the community a chance to see what we're doing over at the meat processing plant. That's why our community developed this retail market. That's great. So it's a nice little hub here. You got a, slaughter, a slaughtering facility where you humanely raise and slaughter animals, then you have here your retail facility, and then you're also using a whole lot of Kentucky Proud products that, or that you're selling here. Yeah. Uh, at Marsbury, we're all about pasture raising our uh, meats. So all of our beef has been raised on grass, our lamb, all of our pork, is, they're all out running around in the field with plenty of fresh air, sunlight, you know, uh, water, all that good stuff. More, more healthy, better for right. the animals, right? Yeah, that's absolutely. Our chickens, uh, they move they move the coops through the field, so the whole time they're fertilizing the fields as they go through, and they always, you know, fresh patches of grass every day. We have our, our standard ground beef, which is a, a very popular, especially with what's happened in, in the beef industry with ground beef absolutely. recently. With all the salmonella scares and stuff like that? Or? Absolutely, yeah. And then, the, uh, you know, certain things being added to ground beef and we don't do any of that. All of our meats are raised the old-fashioned way. We do it everything. We process them the old-fashioned way too. So we don't add uh, any sodium solution or anything like, anything like that to our pork or our chicken. Uh, and then our ground beef is just ground beef. Yeah. Just as it says. We also have ground lamb, which is wildly popular right now. The lamb is really starting to take off. So in addition to your fresh meats, I see you have prosciutto, yeah, which yeah. comes from, do you say broad bits over in the western part of the well, state? Well, it's our, our ham that we actually take the broad bits and they, have, they cure, do all the care for us, but they, they've really got the science down. So you raise the hogs, you slaughter the hogs here, you ship your hams over to the western part of the state, they cure them there. Yeah, and then they send them back to us. Uh, see, yeah. Here's a beautiful word to me, charcuterie. Charcuterie, and, yes. I. Uh, I do love sausages and meat products of all kinds. Right. So can you tell us a little about the charcuterie, what it is and, yeah. and what you have? Yeah, charcuterie is just a cured, cured meat uh, that is uh, ready to eat, essentially. So, yeah. Uh, and yeah. You can, you can do it any way you want, uh, a sugar salt cure, uh, or just you know, bake, uh, baking. Uh, baked ham is also considered a, a charcuterie uh, item. One final question, the, the bacon here, it it looks like almost like jaw bacon. Yeah, it's it's just regular bacon, but we use a naturally cured natural cure agent as opposed to a sodium nitrite on it. So it does have a little bit of a different color. And when you're raising things naturally and producing them naturally, things sometimes don't have the you know the same outcome every time. So. Sure, it doesn't get that kind of vibrant color that you might get if you put red dye number two in your right. meat, for instance, Absolutely. to make it look pretty. Absolutely. In addition to meats, which again I'm intensely interested in, what other kind of Kentucky products do you sell here? I s yeah, absolutely, yeah. We I work with a, a bunch of different organic local uh, farmers that bring in produce uh, on a daily basis. We have Kenny's Cheese, best producer from my home county. Yeah, wonderful, Austin, Kentucky. That's right. Great. Uh, we work with Bluegrass Baking Company to do artisan breads. Uh, JD Country Milk. Over uh, in Russellville. Absolutely, some of the best. Some of the best milk. Low ever. temperature, non-pasteurized, or low, low temperature pasteurized, non-homogenized milk that you can drink. I love that milk. Yeah. Um, you also have a, a variety of sauces here, barbecue sauces and rubs. Yeah, and yeah we work with. Uh, I work with a, one fellow that does a lot of different buying from different local uh, guys. So I go to one guy, he can get me all the different sauces and uh, barbecue sauces, sauces, you name it, uh, dressings, jams, jellies. I saw the jams back there from Scottsville, Kentucky, which yeah. is not too far away from Bowling yeah. Green either. Yeah. You're, you're a great find. You're kind of out here in the country. It's beautiful out here. And it looks like you've got the whole state covered when it comes to Kentucky Proud products. 
Uh, we're going to head on out to your slaughtering facility and talk with Preston, I think? Yeah, he works at our beef processing plant. Yes. And he'll tell us about uh, the humane treatment of animals and maybe show us around there, huh? Absolutely, yeah. John, thanks for talking to me, man. Thank you. I, I want to get my cooler and pack up a big load of this stuff and right. take on with me. I'll help you out. <laughs> All right. After a short commercial break, we'll visit the abattoir and learn about their philosophy of meat processing. Marksbury's slaughtering facility is located a short piece down the road from the butcher shop. Preston Carell, one of the partners, showed us what makes their small scale abattoir different from industrial meat packing plants. So uh, Preston, what, what are we looking at here? Uh, these are our large animal holding facilities. So uh, when cattle, pigs, or sheep are being dropped off for processing, they'll come through and, uh, and we can sort them into any of eight pens. The, the big principles that we've employed here are you can notice the one thing, the, the pens are set up on a, on a herringbone formation rather than straight on. Um, that's kind of like the Temple Grandin uh, humane handling uh, principles at work. For those not in the know, sorry to interrupt, but sure. Temple Grandin, could you tell us a little bit about her? Yeah, she's a fascinating woman. She's an autistic lady that uh, she recognized that her autism gave her special insight into the way animals perceive the world. Yeah. And uh, so she will actually put herself in a situation that an animal would experience and identify the sources of stress for that animal. We think there's a significant sacrifice going on when an animal's processed. Yeah, no and doubt. I don't want to. I don't want to lose sight of that. So that's part of being small scale. When you're a huge industrial operation, uh, you can just see them walking in one after the other after the other, and you know, it's stun the animal, stun the animal, stun the animal. It's either done mechanically or by a person. Where that's all they do all day. I know there are big slaughtering facilities that will do maybe 10,000 hogs in a day or something like right, that. Sure. How many animals would you all kill in a week, maybe? A, a big day for us, for pigs, is maybe 30 animals. Yeah, it's, it's quite small scale, isn't it? Right, and, and the owners, you know, I'm one of the owners. Uh, my partner is also, we both work on the kill floor occasionally. Mm -hmm. I work on the processing floor. We think it's important for us to stay close to that process. Absolutely. And, and recognize that there's... We just don't want to get too far away from that to where there's a, there's a numbing. Well, it, it is serious business, and you keep it on a small scale. You don't have to rush as much. You can do everything better. Sure. So uh, what else can you show us here at Let's your, check out your the, facility? The kill floor. All right. This is the large animal kill floor. This is where the, the business happens. Uh, the livestock will walk in one end of the room, and, uh, and it's a five-man team that does the processing in here. And uh, a number of steps, the animal has to be stunned, has to be bled, uh, skinned, eviscerated, hung on the rail, come over here and split using the, the saw behind us. And then this is the inspection platform where there's a USDA inspector that does inspection. We do plant inspection also and, uh, and trim off any contaminants. Can you show us where the animals go from here? Sure. If they're inspected, they'll come right through this door into the carcass cooler. Okay. Let's see it. We're in the cool, cooling room and it's we're in the it's quite chilly right now. <laughs> tell, tell us what we're looking at. Uh, these are sides of beef that have been processed this week and uh, and they're waiting to go through that door where we have a processing team that'll break them down and make them into delicious food for uh, local folks. Uh, what are we looking at behind us? Uh, these also are, are beef carcasses on this rack. These are hams and bellies. So these will become smoked ham and smoked bacon. And it's already been smoked, huh? No, or, no. This, so the coloration's from the salt? Yeah, it's just from the cure. Wow. That's a vision of beauty to me. <laughs> Coming up, we'll talk about pasture-raised poultry and yours truly struggles to pull a heavy chicken tractor. Hey, Wes. I wanted to introduce you to uh, Leonard Harrison. He's one of our growers. Hey, yeah. Leonard. Pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you, man. Leonard also runs our processing facility, and, and he raises some chickens on pasture. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what Marksbury means for your farm? Marksbury uh, means a lot to me just for the fact that uh, I don't have to take them to the stockyards and do it in a conventional manner. Uh, you know, it's a great working with a family environment. How does your chicken operation differ from the mainstream chicken operations? I won't name any names, but could, could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, 
you know, our, our process facility, uh, we uh, take great pride in uh, traceability. We can trace every animal that is processed for Marksbury back to the farm. And a lot of times, uh, you know, with other places, it can come from 16, I mean, 16,000 different places. It's not, you know, ground beef isn't from one cow. Everything we do is separated by a lot number. So it's clean, and also your birds are outside. Yeah. Right, they don't spend their life in the cooped up that's right. in the inside space or too crowded. These birds have plenty of room. Yeah, that's a that's a big uh, thing for us is making sure the animals have adequate room to uh, move around and get the pasture they need. I uh, think these guys actually need some new pasture. Really, so really. Move? Yeah, uh, I think I'll I could. Some new help. <laughs> I'll give it a hand, give it a try. I have a, some pastured chickens at the house, but my my coop is not as big as this one. Be careful with them. I know, you gotta be careful with them. The birds will, uh, these don't seem as smart as my birds. <laughs> wow, this really is a heavy, heavy number, huh? You wanna help me out? Would I get one, one you on one side and you on the other? There you go. That's how it's done. Well, <laughs> I applaud you, young man. So I'm standing here talking to Beatrice Hatcher, who is from Cave City, Kentucky, which just happens to be in Barron County, my home county. Homegirl, what are you doing so far from Barron County? Well, I really wanted to be a part of a facility or an organization that was passionate about connecting people with their food. And Marksbury does that. It connects people with their food, connects farmers to the families that they're feeding, and um, believes in humane uh, handling of animals. And that's really what I'm passionate about. Right on. So do you have any like, parting words for the TV audience? Uh, buy local, eat well. Amen. <laughs>